uh initially i wanted to become a front end developer then i uh, settled down to uh, quality assurance i realized okay is this really my cup of tea but i, I did not have the complete uh, uh, the road map where to start how to progress where to end honestly speaking i was getting a lot of calls once this layoff season started uh, a lot of companies don't ask which engineering background you are from i would say that because once you get the experience the package will follow Once you get the knowledge, the package will follow. Hello, data lovers. So I am back with another amazing podcast for the aspiring data engineers. And as we are approaching towards the end of this year, 2022, and to keep you motivated in this podcast, I am going to have a discussion with someone who cracked the data engineering job as a fresher during the tech layoff times. and even in december 2022 and honestly speaking i found it very inspiring and i thought his experience can definitely help you to keep you motivated or as a fresher and aspiring data engineers you can definitely learn from his experience that how you can also move into data engineering job very smoothly and one interesting point about his life that he graduated in 2020 but he was not even having a proper full time job during the end of 2022 to so watch this podcast till the very end so that in 2023 you can also plan your data engineering career data engineering road map and before starting with the video make sure to hit the like button also year end is all about fun and enjoyment with the family and friends so let me know in the comment section as well that what are your year end plans my year end plan is vacation on a relaxing place and you will get all the updates on my instagram where i am going and where i will be during the vacation time but don't forget to put your year end plans in the comment section so thank you so much shailesh for joining me in this podcast i was looking at your linkedin profile and i must say the journey you had is definitely something which can inspire a lot of people but it would be really great if you can talk a little bit about yourself and your past academic or professional background yeah first of all uh, thank you for having me here even i am excited as well yeah as you know i am uh, shailesh ar so i come from a uh, engineering background i basically did electronics and communication engineering then uh, after that uh, i was working as quality assurance engineer then slowly transition to uh, you know data science and uh, currently i'm working as data engineer at the uh, official scientific actually graduated in 2020 from electronics background and now in 2022 you have started your career as a full time data engineer and in between as you said uh the qa engineer which is obviously interesting topic to discuss so before your actual full time job what were you actually doing in your life how were things actually going on at that time so after my graduation for a couple of months uh, i wasn't sure like uh what to do in my life uh, this is a phase uh, a lot of uh, them you know go through or have been through Mm-hmm. so even i had to uh, face it and then after that i decided okay uh, let me start my journey by learning few technologies like core java html mm-hmm. uh, css uh initially i wanted to become a front end developer because with these technologies uh, that was the only role uh, that i was aiming to but i was lacking the knowledge of uh, javascript and its frameworks mm-hmm. so i was never making it to uh, you know front end jobs mm-hmm. then i uh, settled down to uh, quality assurance okay engineering and uh, i worked at a startup i was able to crack it after you no know, months of uh, interviewing i improved myself and uh, you know finally was able to crack it mm-hmm. so i did that for a couple of months and uh, i realized okay is this really my cup of tea <laughs> because that was something i uh, found by beating around the bush uh-huh. because uh, a lot of months had passed after graduating i you know, just wanted to uh, jump into a job and get the experience got it but then i realized okay uh, this is not something that i'm enjoying let me first uh, uh, think about it decide which career path to choose Mm-hmm. and uh, based on my uh, attitude and my mindset so uh, that's when i uh, decided okay uh, data science is something i uh, enjoy and uh, you know decided to switch so when you were exploring different kind of domain fields didn't you realize or didn't you feel that uh, dude i am very much uncertain about my future what i'm actually doing why these kind of uh, thought changes very frequently why i'm not able to uh, conclude on a specific decision because that decision making is super important right for yes, the future right. career growth so 
why means that's the question <laughs> yeah as i said uh, like a few months had passed after engineering so i had to like immediately take a decision so that is what uh, resulted in uh, this confusion mm-hmm. but later i realized okay let it take some more time no issues mm-hmm. first let me uh, decide what is best for me mm-hmm. what i enjoy doing so i spent uh, i invested uh, um, i would say a uh, quite a good amount of time in uh, mm-hmm. uh, deciding what's best for me only after that i you know uh, took that decision out of the blue how did you take this decision randomly somebody told you that hey do data science data engineering very popular check it out or you showed your interest you explored it by your own how did it happen for you uh, apparently it happened in uh, both ways i was actually looking at data when uh, some of my uh, friends were say, saying that uh, data is booming you know uh, data is the next uh, diamond gold mm-hmm. and stuff <laughs> and uh, i was also inclined towards uh, the development Mm-hmm. data you know data involves a lot of uh, development coming up with uh, solutions that's the kind of attitude i was always looking to and yeah that's how uh, i landed in the data domain how did you stepped into data engineering because you started exploring data science and most of us know obviously there are the difference with respect to the roles and responsibilities after explaining this part can you also explain your step by step road map and the challenges which as a fresher you faced during this journey so once i decided that uh, let me step into uh, the data science i uh, uh, decided that let me start with a because uh, during uh, in- initial uh, journey i started with like codes of html and css but i, I did not have the complete uh, uh, the road map where to start how to progress where to end hmm. so this should not be happening again so i decided okay let me uh, join uh, institute where the industry experts can uh, you know uh, lead you mm-hmm. and that's when i uh, decided to join odin school it was actually uh, uh, suggested by one of my friend who is already uh, pursuing uh, the boot camp okay. at the odin school he said uh, it's a very good uh, you know institute to mm-hmm. get started with data science i did check their curriculum and uh, they have one of the best curated curriculum that is required for anyone to uh, you know start and build their basic strong that is mm-hmm. uh, required to crack any interviews basically we need to be very strong in our basics so i think i've uh, made one of the best decisions by joining odin school so data engineering is the first step in data science so it involves like extracting the data only after extracting the data will have uh, uh, the model data to uh, do all the data science stuff That's so true. this extraction involves a lot of development coming up with uh, you know uh, new strategies new ideas so that is what excited me mm-hmm. but uh, the data science boot camp that odin school has uh, is a wide range you can learn about data engineering you can learn about data analyst you can even learn about machine learning so uh, they have uh, a wide range of uh, data science domains in their curriculum but data engineering was something that i was concentrating a lot on yeah that's how i uh, decided let me go with uh, the data engineering so basically uh, odin school helps us to build the road map uh, to become uh, uh, a data science scientist or a data engineer or a data analyst so they start off with uh, python then slowly move to a sql uh, basically uh, the the initial stages are the basics then they move to uh, the advanced this helps a lot and to become a data engineering pyspark is also required mm-hmm. and uh, they also help in uh, Uh, you know building our personality they have their career sessions which uh, helps a lot uh, in terms of you know uh, preparing the resumes how to come up with uh, answering questions and all those things and importantly they have uh, this assignments and projects which really okay. helps us to uh, improve our programming lo- logic okay that has helped me a lot and uh, they also provide you uh, the real time data sets mm-hmm. to work on so that gives uh, a clear picture of how uh, the work is going to be when we land in the job as a data engineer are we supposed to know the in depth concept of let's say machine learning engineering deep learning all these things are truly required for data engineers because this is a confusion a lot of people uh, will be having uh, uh theoretically yes we need to have a fairly good amount of knowledge in it mm-hmm. but you need to be strong in the basics okay because i've come across a lot of interviews where employers expect 
uh, candidates to have strong basics nothing else mm-hmm. if you have uh, like theoretical knowledge on the advanced concepts mm-hmm. that is fine lots of us definitely know the current market situation what is actually going on at this time it's definitely scary disappointing right we can understand the emotions so lots of companies are laying off at this moment but you cracked data engineering job in december 2022 itself so what did actually help you to grab job opportunities in this tough time also cracking it with proper salary hike how did it happen for you okay oh, i would say consistency consistency in applying to jobs i would say and uh, even uh, the placements from the odin school were very consistent mm-hmm. they were sending me mails that uh, my resume has been shortlisted and has been forwarded to uh, this company mm-hmm. and we need to uh, you know keep improving ourselves uh, keep up to date with the technologies as well. and uh, the current mar- market situation honestly speaking i was getting a lot of calls once this layoffs season started oh. so i'm not sure if it is a difficult situation for someone who is willing to get into the industry or for uh, someone who is currently working with a huge package was there any moment when you were applying in the companies and they raised or put up any question that dude you graduated in 2020 and till 2022 you had no full time job experience so what you were doing we are not interested in your profile because you don't have that much practical exposure practical experience uh, no actually uh because they don't even shortlist if that was the case okay so once shortlisted they will ask like what were you doing in the past mm-hmm. so i was uh, uh, consistently uh, getting up to date with the technologies uh, preparing for the interviews and i had uh, uh, i was working as a full time intern it was not a full time job but mm-hmm. i was a full time intern mm-hmm. so i was like pretty occupied always you know learning uh, to get a uh, full time job companies don't prefer freshers for data related job profiles this comment i have received most often like on my youtube videos in the comment section so what's your opinion about this one because if i if i can summarize your journey you also got the data engineering job as a fresher so speaking about the academic background like uh, a lot of companies don't ask which engineering background you are from mm-hmm. because they know like uh, we are not going to work on something that we studied in the college right they all they all look, look for the domain knowledge if you want to become a full stack developer they look for uh, knowledge in you know full stack development mm-hmm. they, if you want to become a data engineering do you have that uh, domain knowledge that is what they look right. of course there are some companies which look for only computer science candidates or information science candidates uh, that happens but most of the companies uh, prefer freshers as well mm-hmm. and they don't look for uh, the engineering uh, background as a fresher what should be our priority because i think this is a sort of dilemma or this is the crucial decision making point as well right for example either we should keep chasing those companies which pays high ctc or higher packages or just we should try to step into the industry with interesting work and adjust with average pay scale for some time and then just rock the stage i would say never worry about the package initially always look for a particular role mm-hmm. so if you want to become a data analyst always look for data analyst roles irrespective mm-hmm. of the company i would say that because once you get the experience the package will follow once you get the knowledge the package will follow so initially i don't think so for following the package is the best strategy but it, it it depends on the candidates as well for some it might work mm-hmm. for most of them i would say this would be the best strategy now you have started as a full time data engineer so what's your plan for next 1 to 2 years what are you looking forward to and how you are planning things for yourself okay so when it comes to like data science it's an evolving technology mm-hmm. not just next 1 to 2 years but i'll have to you know uh, stay up to date with the latest uh, technologies and the best practices the in data engineering because one to two years down the lane we might not be using the same tool that we are using today mm-hmm. there are a lot of developments going on there are like lot of tools coming up yeah i'm looking forward to you know uh, stay up to date with the technology and the best practices great experience shailesh great journey and i'm pretty sure audience would have enjoyed everything you have shared and they also would have taken the good key takeaways 
from this video so that uh, they can also plan their journey if they want to step into data science data engineering so thank you so much for joining and if you also want to move into these data related job profiles and you are looking for that serious guidance then do check out the upcoming boot camps by odin school i have provided the link in the video description as well and it's about the year end so hurry up and enroll yourself as soon as possible might be some exclusive offers will be waiting for you so thank you so much uh, shailesh it thank you so nice much for having you thank you so much for having me here so that's what i had for this podcast i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed it and you would have learned good things from his experience if yes you find it informative then quickly hit the like button and if you are new to the channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button as well and press the notification icon i will see you guys next time with another amazing stuff till then just keep exploring data